Hi everyone, and today is St. Patrick's Day! Today is a day where everyone feels just a tidbit Irish. But, and I have some Irish facts for you guys, from, for some, blah, I can't talk again. I have some St. Patrick's Day facts for you guys today. And so, here we go, we're gonna go, I only have four, I usually have five. Today I have four only because I'm pressed for time, and I couldn't come up with, couldn't find a really cool, you know, obvious, not so obvious St. Patrick's Day fact. Anyways, so number one is St. Patrick is not Irish. He is actually from Wales, so he's Welsh. Or, other people are like, Wales is in Britain, so he's British. Okay? Uh, number two, the shamrock is a known, number two, the shamrock is a known symbol for St. Patrick's Day. But St. Patrick actually used the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity. Pretty neat. Number three, for many years, like years, like forever ago, people would wear blue on St. Patrick's Day instead of green. A green was considered unlucky, so yeah, we really fucked that one up. Um, number four, you know what, I actually might have a fifth one for you. I'm the sixth one. Anyway, number four is Corned beef and cabbage. Everybody knows the sandwich in the middle, corned beef and cabbage, right? Um, there's no corn in corned beef. No. Um, corned beef actually has nothing to do with grain corn. It actually has to do with grain salt that is in the beef used to cure meat, which are also historically known as corn. So there is your corned beef. And, okay, number five, there is no actual female... According to Irish lore, there are no female leprechauns. They're all male. So yeah, there you guys go. There's your five Irish facts for today for St. Patrick's Day. Everybody have a good day. Have fun. Don't get too drunk when you're look, you sound and look like an idiot. Don't drink and drive. If you're a minor, drink green Sprite. Everybody have a great St. Patrick's Day, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.